Gallant Growth has presented the latest market research in terms of what's happening in Europe and globally around investments. So very briefly, what would you say are the key trends that you're observing in 2024 compared to 2023? Essentially, we look at health systems across the, across the globe, digital health ventures across the globe, partnerships, which is what we, we mainly talked about today, are increasing, right? 1.2, 1.3x um, year on year between health systems and digital health ventures, right? But what we really see is a, a divergence, right, of what's going on in Europe and what's going on in the US as far as the nature of the partnerships. And um, it was very interesting to hear today in our panel that there's a reason for that, right? And we talked a little bit about the reasoning that health, health systems essentially are just different. Mm -hmm. So uh, the key partnership stakeholders are uh, healthcare providers and there's also a focus that you mentioned on healthcare systems and sustainability. How do you see that this focus is impacting what companies are developing? Is that changing? One, one interesting fact, yeah. for example, that you mentioned is that basically telemedicine in the US is going up a little bit more than it did, for example, last year, but that's not quite happening yet in Europe. Absolutely, yes. You do see somewhat of a divergence of, of funding and partnerships. Um, and so the, the telemedicine um, is really being a lot of driven, a lot driven by the development of AI and the more acceptance and the trust being built, right, between um, physicians, health systems and AI and bringing that actually into their telemedicine um, practices. Um, but as well, the health management systems, right, this is where we see a lot of money going into ventures in health management systems for EHR purposes, clinical note taking. Um, and there's going to be a saturation at some point of the, of the partnership. So it, it'll be interesting to follow in 2024 the health management solutions and if we see that plateau or not and that money then going into what you mentioned, telemedicine. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your kind of expert observation or opinion about the trends that we see in Europe in terms of the investments of healthcare systems. For example, a lot of money has been put into healthcare digitalization as part of the EU resilience funding, mm -hmm. but now that funding is going to run out. So some uh, you know, experts in the field are wondering how are healthcare systems or just healthcare providers going to um, embed funding for digital innovation in their existing budgets? That's a very good question because we do see a lot more activity in the European health systems going into the, into the research and um, medical diagnostics and not actually into the healthcare um, management systems, right, the EHR systems. So if that money does run out, um, then they're going to have to, to really scramble. We heard from the NHS that they were having problems with the implementation of such systems just because the incentives are different um, in Europe than they are in the US. Um, so definitely something to, to keep in mind and to, to look into 2024, what happens there. Um, we do see it's just there's a difference in the in the attitudes and what where the AI is being implemented, especially in Europe, mm -hmm. um, and that's really medical diagnostics. Europe is known to be a very um, oh, very let's say strong in medical diagnostics in the in the areas that require a lot of clinical evidence and a lot of research. Mm -hmm. Right, fantastic, but leads to leads to questions when it comes to health management solutions and those types of areas. Mm -hmm. um, in the report last mm -hmm. year, so 2023 report of Gallant Growth, yeah. uh, one of the, I guess, most important facts for people to remember is that 2% of uh, digital health ventures use AI. Where do you see AI at the moment? Is So especially generative AI seems to be a little bit over the, the hype curve. Yeah. I think you're kind of, you know, um, right. getting over the, the excitement. W what are your observations in this regard? Um, yeah, that 2% is Gen AI. When you look at AI, you're, you're closer to, um, to half, I think it's 56%. Um, absolutely, we're, well, we're hopefully we're over the hype curve of Gen AI um, because <laughs> last year everyone wanted to talk about it, right? There's a lot of incredible potential in that area. Um, it's still very small. People have to build confidence and they have to use it in, in wise ways, in uh, responsible ways as well. Um, let's see, the future, it, it will continue to grow, right, obviously. Um, and the tech companies, big tech coming into digital health, um, that will as well help to develop the ecosystem mm -hmm. a lot. And there's where we see a difference in Europe. There aren't that many big tech companies in Europe, right? All the big, company, the big tech companies are Asia Pacific and the US. So there we see a big gap in Europe as to where, who do these European ventures partner with? 
right? AWS web services or cloud services are a different story. But when you're talking about actual partnerships for AI algorithms and stuff like that, um, it'll be interesting to see who the big European tech um, champion will be for that area. Mm -hmm. Especially with all the upcoming uh, regulation happening in Europe. Exactly. Is that going to dampen? Mm. They're going to have to learn how to work around it. Mm. Well, thank you, Sarah.